Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Mixtape Moth, and today I'm gonna hit y'all with a review of the new Ransom album entitled Heavy is the Head. Let's get to it. Alright, so Ransom is one of hip hop's most esteemed lyricists. As an MC, Rand has always been official since his work in the 2000s, but he has had a tremendous run since 2020, dropping very stellar projects with Nicholas Craven. His 7 EP, which was released a couple months back, was pretty well received, and I consider it to be a four mic project. Now he is back with this brand new collaborative album with Big Ghost LTD, entitled Heavy is the Head. At the beginning of this year, Big Ghost had also produced an entire album for Conway. That project wasn't as highly praised as some of Conway's recent work, but in my opinion, it was an underrated collaborative project. So with the title and the album cover for Heavy is the Head, you can see that this project is tied to a theme about a king. This is also connected to the Hunger Games films, which I think is pretty fitting considering Ransom had that sick bar about the Hunger Games uh, back in 2020. But this new project contains 10 tracks and lasts a total of approximately 27 minutes in length. It is produced entirely by Big Ghost LTD, who is known for his dusty sample-based production that's usually pretty cinematic. The guest features include RJ Payne, Rome Streets, JR, Lou from Paradise, Vinny Paz, and Ill Bill. But with that being said, let me go ahead and hit y'all with this track-by-track -track breakdown. The opener, Lord Stark, sets the tone that Ransom is going to be regarded as this royal figure. This is set to a dark and eerie synth melody with added string. Ransom comes out the gate with some quote-worthy bars like, I play this game without stretching because I destroy joints. Ran is at it again. I'm fully mad with the pen. Like Alonzo Mello, this fellow is ill with the ballpoint. He even manages to name drop Royce to 5'9 with... You trying to flip a nine to five, somebody called Royce. Yeah, all in all, this was a solid opener with a decent beat and clever MC in. Track two, All the King's Men, is a record with dope rapping from everyone involved, but a beat that I wasn't too crazy about, if I'm going to be honest. It almost feels like live instrumentation, especially with the drums. There's like a jam session quality going on which i really didn't care for i'm not saying it's an awful beat but in my opinion even the weakest instrumental on conway's if it bleeds it can be killed with big ghost was better than this regardless each mc flexed their skill set Rand stated three barbers fade on the track and leaving the beat scarred up thought that was pretty dope mickey fax had a solid verse as well now mickey fax is someone who can rap really well but he just comes across as a nice guy. And I'm basing this off of the IG Live interactions where Royce was talking really greasy to him and he pretty much did nothing. It was kind of beta male-like. But it was JR who had the most memorable bars here. He rapped, funny how slum dudes can birth a village or the stakes is high, I gotta turn the grill up. I liked how he was able to cleverly tie together Dilla's work on Slum Village and Stakes is High. Yeah, this song had very strong lyricism, but a bland instrumental in my opinion. Now, track three, Ransom the Destroyer, is the best song on the project hands down. Here we are getting these majestic horns that give this track an epic and kingly feel. Ransom raps from the perspective of a wise king, uh, but he paints a grim picture of most king's demise. Either you die from a jealous foe, my fear is getting stabbed in the back, and I'll never know. This track had a lot of impressive lines that Ransom delivered in the calmest and deadliest way. On Red Wedding, Ransom reunites with Philly spitter R.J. Payne. This is a lyrical slugfest and easily uh, the second best song on the project. This contains an orchestral loop that is very foreboding and ominous. There are also some biggie scratches at the end. R.J. Payne sets it off with his electrifying energy. Some lines that stood out are, semi blick at you, any temperature, pun is still alive. You now witnessing skinny Christopher. Penicillin flow through my pen. I wrote plenty literature. These fucking rappers come to an end if I send a signature. Ran also spazzed as anticipated. All in all, this was a very hard hitting track that will likely give you a screw face or that ice grill mug. Following this is King's Intermission, which offers some words of praise to the King over a pensive piano beat. I guess it's 
cool for vibe setting purposes. Then we have the insightful track, Tyranny. This finds Ransom dropping jewels and doing some self-reflection over a slower and somber instrumental. He wittily states, I was supposed to change like Clark Kent into a Superman, but still I'm stuck in the lowest lane. Get it? Superman, Lois Lane. But he also offers some words of encouragement with, despite of having a long day, I'm fighting hard because the darkest night gonna always produce the brightest stars. Overall, this was dope contemplative rap, uh, some food for thought that you could ride out to. What follows is the Rome Streets assisted black water. Here we get a lot of impressive bar work, but unfortunately a beat that I was lukewarm about. Ransom has some aggressive lines like, I'll stop you dead in your tracks and blow out your train of thoughts. But it was Rome Streets who I feel really went off here. Cold hearted, I'll show you the heat in HD like Michael Mann. Plenty of nights I got my pockets right off a trifle scam. Understanding the monies don't always go to the rightful hands. Sometimes it goes to who's holding the rifle at your vital glands. So far, these two have great chemistry together and I'm looking forward to their up and coming project. I also dug the scratching at the end so the rapping was fire here, but the average instrumental kept this from being one to write home about. Track eight, Off With His Head, is a rugged posse cut featuring Vinnie Paz, Lou from Paradise, and Ill Bill. Here, these MCs spit gutter bars on top of a punchy boom bap beat. There's nothing pretty about it, just MCs catching wreck over dense drums. While Rand did his thing, obviously, I was impressed by the performance from Lou Paradise. He gives us some cool braggadocia, like I take it too far like foreign Uber drivers, statting on my back that I carry like I knew Mariah. Rand told me keep the 16 spitting. That's cause if he didn't, I would go 16 minutes and I'm the leader of the pack. I just mislead bitches. I feel Vinnie Paz brought that raw aggression as always. And as far as Ill Bill, I thought he had a solid verse, but what the hell happened to his voice? It just sounds so cartoonish now. It's a shame because he used to have a dope flow. The second to last track is just an interlude entitled King's Landing. This transitions smoothly into the final song, A King's Ransom. This probably has the third nicest beat on the project. The eerie choir vocals and harp make it fitting for an omnipotent king. This is a strong closing track in just under two minutes. Here Ransom ties up the loose ends on the king theme. He presents the ups and downs to having that title. He gives us a pretty sobering view of the end result of that lifestyle with my son and heir to the throne holding me down. He gonna regret it cause every king is beheaded. Overall, I give this project a rating of a strong three and a half mics, somewhere around a 3.8. While I consider this to be a dope project with top tiered lyricism, I can't say that I enjoyed the beats as much as I expected to. And it's wild because going into this, I would have assumed that Big Ghost would have knocked this out the park. Now, this is purely subjective as I'm sure some of you may love these beats and I can respect that, but for me, I had a hard time getting into all of them. I like some, some are dope, no question, but as a whole, I thought Big Ghost LTD has given better beats to Conway, Griselda, Riggs, Mooch, and 38 Special. It just seemed like Big Ghost has stepped away from the soulful samples and it included more of a live instrumentation sound here. And if you like that sound, that's perfectly fine. It just wasn't what I expected when I heard that Big Ghost was gonna be doing this. But the instrumentals kind of reminded me of the production found on the Wu-Tang Chamber Sound album from 2008, if y'all remember that. Don't get me wrong, Ransom is still wrapping circles around dudes in the industry, and this was a dope project, but I can't say that I enjoyed it as much as his 7 EP or his work with Nicholas Craven. My favorite tracks include Ransom the Destroyer, The Red Wedding, Tyranny, Off With His Head, and A King's Ransom. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comment section below. It's your boy Mixtape Moff. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Ransom, heavy is the head. One.